All right, we're back and we're talking about documenting your R functions with something called Roxygen 2. This is a part of a series of short videos on modifying the R package template so that you can make your own R package and add your own functions. Once you've done that, you want to document those functions. So let's talk about it. Uh, here we have RStudio. This is where we left off. And I have loaded up here the standard error of the mean function that we wrote. And we talked about last time how if we go to the package that we made, mine's called laser, it doesn't have the documentation. So how do we add documentation for this function? Now there's a couple ways we can do this. I want to point out that uh, we could go to the main folder here and open up the man folder. And this is where the rd files go, short, I think, for r documentation files. So this is the help file for the hello function. You see it, uh, it's got this um, syntax for writing the function. Now, when I look at this, I think, oh no, I have to learn a bunch of other, a whole another kind of document format. And then hopefully I learn how to do that right. And I, I'm assuming what I could do is just make a sem.rd file, put it here, and write the documentation for my sem function. And I, I'm hoping that would be okay. But what I recommend you do, and this is one thing that we talked about at the beginning here, if you're looking at the example uh, template file for the hello function, it sends you to the R packages book website. And if we head over there, this is the R packages book by Hadley Wickham and Jenny Bryan's great book. If you go to chapter 10 on object documentation, what you need to do, and I totally recommend doing this, is reading this whole chapter. It's not super long. It's got great examples. And it talks about a way to use something called Roxygen 2 in order to document your functions. I'm just going to review a couple things here. So one, R provides a standard way of documenting the objects in a package. You write these .rd files that we already looked at, and you put them in the man directory. So the authors are pointing out that these files use a custom syntax and basically they get rendered to HTML and converted to documentation. We're not going to follow this example exactly. Um, sorry, we're not going to follow this method exactly. We're not going to be writing the RD files by hand. Instead, we're going to use something called Roxygen2. And let's see, the, the goal of Roxygen2 is to make documenting your code as easy as possible. Ooh, that sounds nice. So let's do that instead. I've done this before. I think Roxygen2 does make things easier. And basically, here's what the workflow will look like. Okay, we're going to add these things called Roxygen comments to your dot R files. So I'm just going to quickly point out that we have a dot R file for the example hello function. And we've got a hello.rd file for the, let's put those side by side for the same, uh, for the hello function. So normally you've got to write two files, a dot R file and a dot RD file. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. With the Roxygen approach, you only need to write one file. We've already got it here for a function called SEM. We're going to add the function uh, documentation to this file. And then using some other packages, when we build this thing, it will automatically generate the necessary RD file and put it in the man folder. So that sounds pretty cool. Let's check out how we would go about doing that. Uh, so one, add the comments, add the Roxygen comments to your .r files, and then two, run DevTools document to convert them to RD files. All right, so how do we do step one? 
add roxygen comments to your .r files. Um, I'm going to suggest that what we do is take this little example here. So this example has a function definition called add. And what this one looks like it does is it adds the inputs X and Y together. So we already have something like that called SEM that computes the standard error of the mean. What we don't have is this part. This is the Roxygen comments. This are special comments. Uh, you can see we've got the hashtags with a, what was that a apostrophe after them. So I'm going to grab all of these comments, copy those. Let's head back into our studio and I'm going to make some room at the top of the function here and pop that in. And I'm going to do some guessing games. I'm going to assume that you're not super familiar with Roxygen comments and that's okay. We can basically look at this example and, and sort of modify it to our own needs. This top part here looks like it's describing the purpose of the function. So I'm going to change this to compute the standard error of the mean. This looks like uh, a ram x, y. Okay, so those were the input uh, inputs in the example code. X and Y are these inputs here in the example code. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say, okay, well mine mine has an X, so that's an input to my function. And what is in my function, what do I imagine the X would be? Well, it's going to be, how about this? A vector of numbers. That's, so when we compute the standard error of the mean, we need a bunch of numbers. And so I'm going to assume that the X has to be that. We could we could write more stuff. We could say, oh, that's going to be a, a numeric uh, a vector of numbers. So anything you write here will be added in. And what is returned? Um, This is where we get to tell people what the output of the function is. I'm going to say the standard error of the mean of the numbers in X. How about? Finally, we have at examples. And what's neat about this, we can basically run our function give an example of it. So for example, if we wanted to compute the standard error of the mean of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it could be something like this. There's a lot more to the Roxygen comments. There's lots more you can add to the comments, but this suffices for a simple example. Okay, so we did our step one here. That was adding Roxygen comments to your R files. Now let's convert that into an RD file. So I'm going to try this one here. Let's see. Well, I, I can see that I have to do dev tools. I'm going to go in the console. I'm going to type dev tools. You might have to install this package if you don't have it already. And we're going to run the document function here. And it does a few things. It also writes the sem.rd file. And fingers crossed, if we head over to the man folder, oh, we see there it is. That looks good to me. Finally, let's go ahead and build this thing. So we install, restart the package one more time. And let's go to the packages tab, click on laser and see what we got. Look at that. We have now added documentation for our SEM function. And it's got, this is what it looks like. So these comments that we wrote right here got converted into something that prints out and looks like this. It's got our uh, description of the function. Looks like this is the title here. And the title and description are the same. 
usage, arguments, value, and examples. So that's a quick and dirty uh, intro to documenting your function with uh, R Oxygen 2 or Roxygen 2. And I highly recommend reading the rest of this chapter to learn more about how to do that. And then the last thing we'll do is make a website for your R package using the package down package. Now we've already been doing this the whole semester, um, but let's go over these, this one more time. So we'll see about doing this in the next video.